convinced someone or been able to show them the inc how <laughs> incongruous their views are compared to their beliefs? Uh, no. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't think that's, uh, that's something I've gotten super close to. I will say, though, in the last piece that we did, we went down to South Carolina and we talked to a woman who was there on January 6th. She got arrested for being inside, spent 60 days in jail, and she came out and she changed her opinion. And, and it was, I don't know, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Great. And now you guys just clap for an insurrectionist. See how easy it is? <laughs> Wow. Uh, and so I, it, was, it was good to talk to her. I think like she was somebody, and I, I did ask her, I was like, we, I don't run into many people who feel like they've been through it and then come out on the other side. Uh, and she said, I think jail shook her. <laughs> uh, and I think she started doing her own research, as she said, and a couple of these things didn't line up, and she felt like she was taken in. And so she felt it was her duty to come out to this Trump rally and talk to people about what she'd been through. Um, they weren't necessarily great at listening to her, uh, but there's a little glimmer of hope in there. Yeah, up in the back. Do you think that anything will convince them otherwise? Anything will convince them otherwise? Here's what I think. Changing somebody's mind is hard to do. Uh, and I think if you are approaching something like, I want to change their mind, you ain't going to get anywhere. I think the problem we have right now is a crisis of certainty. I talk to everybody on all sides who are very certain about their beliefs. And if you actually want somebody to see something that they haven't seen before and cross that divide into believing something else, they have to acknowledge that they have a sense of uncertainty. And if they're being approached by somebody else, you have to acknowledge that you have a sense of uncertainty as well. And so I think in order to change somebody's mind, you have to be a bit of a loser to begin. <laughs> that sounds strange, but you have to concede something to get anywhere. And so is it going to happen on a TV show? Doubtful. But with friends and family, there's an opportunity. One, because there is a connection there and hopefully some love, although I know it's been a hard few years. Uh, <laughs> but I think if you can approach that, not from a place of judgment and from a place of uncertainty, concede something that you don't know, because guess what? You are probably a lot like me and you wish you were as certain about the things that you want to be, but you had to put up these guards because people are coming at you with knives all the time and it feels like the other side is so dangerous and in many cases they are. But if you can't relate to them like another human being and say, I too am uncertain about some of these things, then you will never reach them as a human being in asking them to come over to a side of better understanding. So I think our only option <laughs> is a step towards concession. Yeah. Speaking of the danger you talked about, what was the scariest moment for you that you learned? Sure. Uh, January 6th was a funny time. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I mean, I will tell you a funny January 6th story. <laughs> uh, I was there on January 6th working, to be clear. <laughs> And I had four security guards with me because I'm a comedian and it's 2020 and that's what you do nowadays. Uh, and I talked to a man who was swinging a pitchfork uh, and he was ranting about revolution. I'm talking to this man with security, we all come around. I talked to this man about swinging a pitchfork and as I'm interviewing him, we're interrupted by another man who's screaming obscenities at us. And obscenity man gets shushed by pitchfork man <laughs> who said, you do not speak for me. <laughs> leaving me grateful to the more level-headed man swinging a pitchfork. And I swear, I swear, we made eye contact and he rolled his eyes as if to say, could you believe this guy?